here, Hell Monkey. As if you mortals can be saved with one little squeeze. Kill me, and I shall be replaced by another. And another. And another still. You cannot point that pet gun of yours at all demon kind. <laughs> threat shall be. One at a time, we shall seize the treasures of your life as spoils, and leave only emptiness and despair. My last gifts to you. <laughs> Just don't forget to wrap them, put the claws. By the way, Hotspur, how is your dear sweet Paul? Is she hanging in there? <laughs> Fuck you! Pendejo! Uh. 
<laughs> oh, demon hunter. Your bullets have no bite, no penetration. <laughs> you need more thrust! Que diablo se eso? That was just the appetizer, Hotspur. A taste of what's in store. So you know my name. And you don't know mine. Please, call me Fleming. Oh, you're not going to get bowdy over one little blonde bombshell. Tell you what, you can have the girl back, good as new. If you atone for your sins against me for slaying my legion of demons, admit that you challenged a greater power and lost. Admit that your endowment will never measure up to my own. I will admit you're a fucking asshole. How's that, Fleming? <laughs> oh, so be it. A place for Paula has now been set at my table, mortal. You cannot have her back now. But come to my castle in the underworld, and you could still join in our revels. Such a tempting offer. I do love a party. Maybe we could play Pong. Or do shots! <laughs> I would say, you slay me, Hotspur, but you don't, you can't. Now say goodbye to Paula. She has a lot of dying to do, and coming back to life, and dying some more. I like to keep my mistresses guessing. Yes, help her! Because in the meantime, I'll be helping myself. to the underworld is stretched out before us doesn't mean we have is to... Is there a problem, Johnson? Well, I'm just saying, demons are buttholes. You really wouldn't like it there. <laughs> Says the former demon. What's wrong? Lost your spy. Uh, okay, okay, look. If you want to go to the underworld, good on you. But you don't know that place. Look, look, look. Look what they did to me. A few little transgressions, and now I'm doomed to an eternity of heavy metal jokes and... and Posing for pirate flags. It's only worse for mortals. Then all the more reason to go. They have the Paula. So the way I see it, you are either with me, or you're not. No! <sighs> Get on. All right. Vamanos! The underworld lies just beyond the sound barrier. It's like super classified demon information. <laughs> Not according to the internet.
your own barrio, right, Johnson? Then you can be my tour guide. Me? But I quit the whole demon thing ages ago, and really, my memory's absolute rubbish. Oh, I'm sure it will come back to you in no time. Relax, amigo. This is going to be an adventure. Our very own road movie. And the best part is, you never know what's waiting around the bend. Be on this side of the door. All right, let's start this road movie with some road kill. That's right, G. Don't let all that peace and quiet push you around. Huh. When demons hear the name Garcia fucking Hotspur, they run the other way. Johnson, what the hell is that thing? Holy cow! I don't believe it! Willie! That's one-eyed William! Friend of yours? Are you kidding? William is my aunt's first husband's adopted son from the Ukraine! Then you are practically brothers. see shit up ahead. The underworld be a shadowy place. Anyway, not a problem. Take a look over there. You see that lamp? Hanging on the wall? I can light that up for you. The light shot, of course. Give it a try, G. There. Did I brighten your day? What can I say, Johnson? You are the right tool for every job. So when do I get to light up some demons? I'm sure you'll have your chance. They hate my light shot. Leaves a nasty rash. Ka-ching! Save up those white gems, G. Demons are not very talkative. What have they got to talk about? Once your soul rolls into town, that's it. You're damned. And Fleming doesn't let anybody off the hook. He sounds like a real dick, Tater. Well, everybody knows that goats are a source of light. Right. Of course. Poor Tyke. Most new arrivals in the underworld are condemned to guard doors like this for the first hundred years. Oh, we all have to start somewhere. Garcia? <gasps> Paula? Come back! Hola! Easy, G. This place is full of deceptions and dirty tricks. Is that a floating 
strawberry. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, these things are like demon catnip when I was little. Johnson, do I take this strawberry? Yes, jeez, excuse me for having a little fruit fantasy. Don't you dare give my strawberry to that sprog on the door! No! Gee, you berry squanderer! <laughs> ah, drinks! At least there's one good thing about the underworld. What, liver damage? That's the beauty of it. In the underworld, you don't die from drinks. They unkill people here. Paula? Paula? Ah, ¿qué es esta mierda? Uh-oh, I was afraid of this. What? Why is it suddenly getting dark? This isn't ordinary darkness. If you stay in it too long, it'll suck the life out of you. Use the light shot on the goat head. You can't stay in the darkness like this. It eats away the flesh of mortals. Goat head, hurry! Get to get the light shot. Would banish the darkness. How did you not know? Some demon hunter, I say. Just warn me if I have to fuck a horse to unlock a door, huh? You? I can't see for shit. Ahem. If only there was some way to shed light on the situation. Don't mock me, bitch. <sighs> Themselves. It's what's for dinner. Madre, not again! And this time there's no goat to save us. Quick, the door! Run through the door! Ah, oh, much better. No darkness and, dare I say it, no demons. Demons do love their darkness. Then why don't they just cover the whole underworld in it? Too much of a good thing can kill you. They say to wear sunblock in your world, right? Same idea. Nice one, Jim. Are you sure? Tall guy. There's the goat head out the window. She picked out that lingerie. You? In a Chictoria's secret? <coughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Keep running! There's no way to disperse darkness this thick! More darkness dead ahead! 
At least we're standing on the bright side of things this time. You can call this bright. I hear bleating. Better check your goat, da. What the fuck is that? Hmm. Let's go with big and hopefully dead demon, shall we? Gem. What does this do? Shh, shh, keep it down. That's a performance enhancer. Very shady. Very, very illegal. So, Johnson, do you eat eyeballs too? Perish the thought. It just so happens I'm a fruitarian, thank you. The underworld has a pub? That's right, and vending machines too. If you're damned, you're going to need convenient access to drinks pretty much 24-7. Hearts let you withstand the darkness longer. I'm not even going to ask how that makes sense. So, uh, does Willie always take a big smoky dump in public? Ah, 
You should see him piss. At least we can keep track of where we've been this way. Demons can't stand light. Gotta put it all somewhere, you know? Barrels. I can see they gave the problem a lot of thought. Here's a fine mess. These demon pubes are blocking the door. Hey, look up there. There's a switch glowing the same color. Hold on. What? Where else have we seen that color? You reckon taking a walk on the wild side might bring this whole situation into perspective? Angel, wait for me! Hijo de puta! <laughs> Cute trick. Again. What's that fucker's fucking hand doing here? Um, it's his world. Nothing's out of Fleming's reach. He's literally got a finger in every pie. We're surrounded, G. Wait, we can use these barrels. They're filled with pressurized light. They'll explode. any demons try to challenge Fleming? You know, like a coup? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you know what happened to the last demon who tried that? No. Neither do I, G. All they found was a shish kebab with two ears, two eyes, two kidneys, and two... Uh, never mind.
Someone is trying to bring down the house. Fleming likes opera? What? You thought he'd be the emo type? <laughs> Dead alert, G! That corpse is reacting to the darkness. Light this place up before it spawns more demons. Diagram? I don't know. You leave town for a few demon centuries and suddenly there's all this amazing new technology when you get back. Should I be afraid of a few puny earthquakes? What the hell? Are you afraid of that? Shit. Is that? No!
stronger demons require a constant supply of human blood, which they store in special repositories on their bodies. They're a source of great power, but also an exploitable weakness. Talk about wearing your heart on your sleeve. <laughs> why brains and eyes are on the menu, but why do demons like strawberries? You don't know about strawberries? <laughs> They're demon fruit, G. Fleming's idea of a practical joke on the world of the living. They're made of ground-up tongues. That's disgusting. That's not the half of it. You thought Pop Her Cherry was just a figure of speech. <laughs> like a VIP. Very important pendejo. Something like that. Fleming gives his favorite souls special treatment. People who exited the world of the living in style. So not all demons are damned? Oh, everybody's damned. The VIPs are just comfortably damned. Little perks here and there. Such as? They get to keep their genitals. Find some darkness that gives us a clear shot at the switch. that barfs darkness, and they said this neighborhood was gentrifying.
Thank you.